good morning to all of my lovely students. Welcoming you once again in my English class with the new topic and an interesting as well. So, I hope all of you are fit and fine. So, students, our second term exam is coming very soon, right? Obviously, though we have finished first term, we have finished empty. Obviously, next exam is second term. I'm talking about that. That doesn't mean it's coming very soon. It's coming already. So, are you preparing yourself? Are you going through all the lessons, all the Zoom classes or the video classes regularly? I know it. You are doing so. So, let's not discuss anything more and just come to the point of today's topic. And what's that? Let's start from the previous lesson. Get set ready. Going to ask you something very interesting. Here I am with your previous lesson to check how much you were attentive in your last class. Okay, so my first question is how many WH words are there? Exactly nine. What, when, where, why, how, whom, who we choose? Yes, there are nine. Second is, okay, I'm going to give you to make a double question. This is statement is for you. Shamila studied last night. So, underline word is last night. And last night indicates something that I don't want to say. Yes. You were right. It's indicating the time. When did Chamala study? As the studied word was in past form. And the last one is Maliha takes breakfast in the morning. And the underlined word is breakfast. So can you guess? Absolutely correct. What does Maliha do? Take in the morning. Very well done. As the verb here is takes, that means added already with the with s and it is in present form. That's why we need a helping verb that is called does. What does Maliha take in the morning? What because of breakfast? Underline word breakfast. That's why we choose in the WH word what. Very well done. My dear students, our today's topic is about simple present tense and simple past tense. So, let's see what is inside this class. Come on, come on, get ready. Today's learning outcome. At the end of the lesson, you will be able to learn about simple present and past tense with its definition. Then, structure of present simple as well as past. Then, you will be able to use it based on the situation okay and at last what are you gonna get from this class complete and any blanks by using the structure okay how you could solve it or how could you fill up it or complete it you will be able to know if you watch today's class from the beginning till the end Hopefully, you're going to be benefited. So, let's start the class. Simple present tense as it is our today's topic. First of all, we need to know about its definition. Or you can say, what is that simple present tense? 
well here is the definition we use simple present tense to talk about the habits and actions that are always true and happen regularly for an example safir plays cricket every day what does it mean that boy safir usually or regularly he does this work and what is that the action that he plays cricket every day this is what actually in simple present tense is asked for now we can get here three types of structures one is positive second is negative and the third one is interrogative okay so let's go for the positive one and that is positive sentence structure what's that first of all we need a subject we need a verb and its base form then we need an object so if i i have chosen here the subject she and if after she i need a verb and that's why i have chosen play but here i have added with play s because here this she is a third person singular number that's why with the verb i have added s sometimes you need to add es even it depends on the subject and the object is guitar so what is the regular word here she plays guitar okay now next as we have discussed about the positive one now this is the negative sentence structure okay so what is going to be happen here subject helping verb not main verb object the main point of this structure is mr not otherwise and here is another helping verb earlier i have told you that is verb and here specifically the helping verb okay not the action one then here is the main verb of the there object okay that means we are we need here two verbs when we supposed to make it negative sentence we need two types of verb one helping another main verb main verb is always there as yes, you know but we are going to add it with not so what is the example she does not play guitar she does not play guitar so she is a subject here helping verb we arrange mr does here as this she is third person singular number and as well the subject is not as it is a negative sense structure sentence that's why not is here after that the main verb as we have chosen earlier in the positive one play and the object is guitar so what it comes she plays she does not play guitar okay let's move on for interrogative sentence okay in case of interrogative what we have to do we have to switch the question like we have to change the subject always subject comes first but in the case of interrogative sentence we need to interchange like the helping verb this helping verb who was in the second position he will come first and the subject who was in the first position he will go to second position do you understand what i mean yes hopefully you do helping verb then subject then main verb then our object but we need a question mark at the end of the sentence as it is interrogative interrogative means a question that's why question means a question mark must okay so how we can arrange this does she play guitar it's it is a question someone is asking you okay so this is all about the present tense simple present as i have said so we got three types of structures here 
positive negative interrogative that's all now let's enjoy something more about this simple present tense students this is the time to remind you about some secret and important notes about simple present tense whatever it is no matter what is it the structure is of positive negative or interrogative something is interesting and you have it will make you understand to identify either it's a present tense or any past tense okay so what is here positive sentences do not have any helping verb do and does are used as the helping verb in negative and interrogative sentences in simple present tense as you know we have noticed in positive sentence there was no helping verb but whenever we want to make it interrogative and as well negative that time we need a helping verb okay next if the subject is third person singular number like he she it or any name then is or es will be added with the main verb in the positive sentences okay last one is if the subject is third person singular number then does will be used as helping verb in the negative or what interrogative sentences clear students so these notes uh, would help you to find simple present tense right the present simple how do we form the present simple affirmative subject plus verb plus object I drink coffee. Conjugating the present simple. Affirmative. I play the piano. You play the piano. He plays the piano. She plays the piano. We play the piano. They play the piano. How do we form the present simple? Negative. Subject. Plus. Do. Plus. Not. Plus. Verb. Plus. Object. Adrian doesn't like the doctor conjugating the present simple negative i do not play the piano you do not play the piano he does not play the piano she does not play the piano we do not play the piano they do not play the piano. We can contract the negative form of the auxiliary verb, do. I do not. I don't. You do not. You don't. Does not. She does not. He doesn't. She doesn't. We do not. We don't. They do not. They don't. How do we form the present simple? Interrogative. Do. Plus. Subject. Plus verb plus object do 
elephants eat grass conjugating the present simple interrogative Do I play the piano? Do you play the piano? Does he play the piano? Does she play the piano? Do we play the piano? Do they play the piano? Hopefully you got a clear idea about simple present tense. So let's move on for simple past tense. Okay, as you know, first of all, we need to know what is simple past tense. So, that is, we use simple past tense to talk about actions that completed before now. What? Sounds interesting, isn't it? Yes, it is. We can also talk about an action that has been completed or an action that was completed some times ago. The word some times ago and completed before now. It's interesting. It is actually defined the simple past tense. What is it? Okay, the things. See, few minutes ago I have already discussed. I discussed about simple present tense. The work or the action before now that I have completed, that is simple past tense. And the situation or the action that I am doing now, it is, it is another thing. I will to know about it in the next class, inshallah. So, this was the definition that I am uh, actually I want to uh, make you understand. Let's see, same way the positive structures. So, I want to show you the positive sentence structure. Subject plus V2. Sometimes we write V2, that the short form of verb. And 2 means the second form of a verb, like the past tense. The first one is, V1 is actually present form. V2 is the past form, okay. Past form of verb. Plus object, like he, at, rise. I have given simple examples to just simplify the lesson for you okay what is next let's go negative sentence in negative sentence structure what you have to get see what you got subject as well helping verb same as the present one but here we are adding the helping verb it is did and not as you know it is negative so not will be there then the main verb, then object. Okay. So, for the example, if we go for, then we'll see, he did not eat rice. But, in simple present tense, sometimes there are a confusion between do and does. Which one you have to choose? But see, in simple past tense, there is no confusion because the only helping verb is did. Mr. Did. Let's move on for interrogative sentences. Helping verb, you know, if it is a question, the helping verb will must have to come first. Helping verb, then the subject, then the main verb and object. And the most important one is question mark. So, let's go for the example. Did he eat rice? See, maybe you are wondering why same here. He did not eat rice. Past tense, but why did not the verb is in its past form? This is only because we have already chosen the helping verb in its past form. So that's why the main verb will be in its base form. Okay, same happens in interrogative case. Did he eat? It is the base form, rise, you know, and the question mark. Now I will show you something mode that is conjugation of verbs okay now if you want to know what is conjugation means then it is the complete set of what 
inflected forms of verbs. As you can see here, person, that is a table, we have divided into three parts, person, singular and plural. Okay, in the case of first person, you can see which type of uh, singular form we are using? I. I is the singular form. And the, with this I, I said you that there is no confusion between do does, like do does. Here is only helping verb is did. So, if the person is first person, I, the helping verb is did, you know. But in plural form, we and did. Okay, there is no confusion. Second person, it is more easier than anything else. Because it is you and you, whether it is singular or plural, but same. Okay. But third person, it always, it could be he did, she did, it did, or any name with did. Helping verb is always same. But the persons are changing. That's why singular form will be applied according to the person. Here you can see. In the singular form, we got he, she, he, any name, so many items. But the plural form of them is only they, D. So, students, hopefully you got to know what is my key point of today's simple past tense structure. Now, what we mean by past and what we mean by tense? Let's understand. Now, children, we very well know what are verbs. Verbs are action verbs. Verbs also tell us when the action took place. In the past, in the present or in the future. Now out of these three tenses, today we are going to learn just about past tense. Now what is past tense? To talk about actions that took place in the past, we use past tense. So children, some action words or when we talk about some actions which have taken place earlier. So there we use these past tense of the verb. Now children, how we will identify these past tense words or form these past tense words? Let's see. To make the past tense form of most verbs, we add D or ED to them. So what we will do? We will add D or ED to the verbs. The words that are ending with E. We will just add D to them. Let's see a few examples. First one is Roma played tennis last Friday. So, where is the past tense word here? That is played. And how we have formed this past tense word? By adding ed to play. Second one is she comb her hair. In verb plus ed becomes a past tense word. So, here comb plus ed is comb. We add d to some words ending in e when we talk about the past. For example, like, like, love, loved. Let us see one more example. I baked the cake for my mom's birthday last week. So, baked is a past tense word. Now, children, some words change totally in the past tense. So, some words are come, came, sit, sat, eat, ate, go, went, fly, flew. This is the time to summarize the whole lesson. So, let me repeat one more time. But... Don't worry, in short. So today we learned about the definition and the structure with huge examples of simple present tense and simple past tense as well. And if I repeat it, then I can say simple present tense is actually the action that happens regularly. I can also give you some of the key points to identify it. Like habitual fact, sentences that are always true, actions that happens regularly, and base form of the verb. Means the use of base form of the verbs. So this is all about actually present simple tense. You can say simple present tense. Okay. Now, simple past tense. The action which happened before now. Okay? Well, students, don't you think I need to take a feedback on our today's class? 
especially when I have already summarized the lesson. Yes, are you ready for it? So let's start. I'm going to show you some of the blanks. You have to fill up it with the correct form of the verb. So, this is your first sentence. The student dashed to school every day. And the word in the bracket is walk. Don't you think it is every day means something happening regularly? Yes, you get it right. So what will be the correct answer? The student walks to school every day. Well done. Let's go for the next one. That is my hair dash quickly and the word is grow. So something happening very rapidly, right? What? Yes. It is also simple present tense. That means the hair, my hair grows quickly. My hair means I am third person singular number. That's why we have added a S -S with the verb grow as well in the previous sentence. Let's move on for the next one. We dash Paris eight years ago. And the bracket word is go. So don't you think this sentence is indicating something happened before now? Actually not before now, before eight years. Yes, you guessed it right. When we went to Paris eight years ago. Simply. Now the last one. And that is I dash coffee yesterday morning. And the verb is drink. Yesterday morning I gave you some clues in the summary. When I summarize the class. Correct. I drank. Drinks past form is drank. I drank coffee yesterday morning. Very well done my boys and girls. A successful feedback class has completed. This is the homework for you. And the homework number is 22. What you have to do? Overall on today's discussion, I have given here five sentences to do. And let me mention it very clearly that you have to mention in your copy, copy the homework number, then the date and the topic. You have to write, fill up the gaps with the correct form of verbs. Okay. As well, you can see there are some verbs are given in the bracket. So this is the verb action verbs but you have to write it in the correct form of them from my discussion i know very well that you it is not a single uh, difficult task for you to complete this right students yes here you can see three five sentences one number one is they dash in this dash you have to take out this word this verb but in its proper form that means in a correct form and as i have discussed only two form of verbs that simple and present anyone will be set here okay uh, so they dash to the park on the weekend hmm, what to do i don't know number two one number two one is i dash coffee yesterday morning Third one is 
the student dash a book every morning and the word is read okay number 4 she dash tv last night and the word is watch he plays dash breakfast is it plays he always <laughs> i just wanted to check your attention he always dash breakfast and the word is eat and now students this is your work to write those words actually fill up the gaps with those words but in correct form of verb hopefully you can so already i have summarized the class and you got all the points you got your homework also so students this is mm, what next nothing next this is the time to say you bye hopefully we will meet again with another new topic till then keep waiting for me bye bye